Hey everybody, Norm over here. I did it again. I bought all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, these guys are bringing it in. The uh, brain children, brainiacs. Uh, Woo! So who's driving here? This is the blind leading the blind over here. We got Civil War Randy over here. <laughs> there he is. Leading the slow adult. And we got. He's got a guitar in hand. Yeah. And a vintage Norman C. Yeah, that's a weapon that... Okay. Smell the burnt oil. Yeah. You do repairs? Not that good. Come here a second. This is Civil War or Randy over here. I've been trying to get him a part in a Civil War movie. If you need a character from Civil War, you don't even need to do anything but put a suit on him or something. A Confederate suit. Give me Maybe the, the History What's Channel. The What's the line? The South will rise again. All right, you heard it right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here. We got uh, Donald Huggins, bring, who's driving the truck, which they should really probably not even allow him to drive it. Then we, he's Petey's brother. Uh, Petey, you know, has been a little under the weather. He's been sick. And, uh, you know, we're hoping that he's going to be fine for one of the next shows. We love Petey. And, uh, we love oh, Petey. yeah, we love Petey. So when you come down to Norm's on Saturday, give him a dollar. He needs it. Boo! Oh, there you go. And uh, give me a dollar, too. I need it as well. So, uh, is, you know, where's Donald? Is we gonna yeah, he's, he's, he's coming out. Let me uh, go put this uh, So down. meanwhile, I just want to tell you guys, I'm going to just uh, pitch something at you. Yeah. When I was in Dallas, I went to one of the greatest restaurants of all time. It's called True Lux. And they got the greatest stone crabs, Florida stone crabs from there. And all the food is fantastic. The service is great. Uh, my buddy James is one of the managers there. He's really did a great job. And he's buddies with Jimmy okay. Wallace. And my buddy Ronnie is one of the bartenders. He'll make you a drink and he'll make you comatose in no time. Woo. So uh, he's, there you go. he's fantastic. The entertainment's great. There was uh, this guy Clay and Shayla. Um, these two singers at this piano bar that were out of sight. They were really great, great singers, great player, uh, Clay. So anyhow, that's my tip for Dallas. True Lux, one of the great restaurants of all time. There you uh, go. Donald kind of slipped in here somewhere. Uh, he's somewhere. He went behind me, I think. So uh, I know you guys are salivating, you know, um, you know, because you want to see some of the guitars. I'm just salivating because I'm old. Should we see who else is salivating? Yeah, we got uh, Mark from the All Guitar Network. We got yeah, Little Bear. Little Bear is who I was really talking about. <laughs> yeah. We got Larry over here. He salivates a lot. Woo! And, uh, you know that strip club that you and I oh, went into in Dallas? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. That, it was a dog strip club, though, wasn't it? Let's yeah. hear about that. We ran in French. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense. There you go. So, you, but you're always with this dog. Oh, by the way, this is, uh, this is Ray. Where did Donald go? Hey, he had to use the facility real quickly. Uh, Donald, I mean, you know, he probably stops every five minutes at his age. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you guys, did you, they let you out of the home? To, oh, yeah, they let us out of the home. Uh, we left somewhere, I think it was Sunday night, and uh, got to Albuquerque the first day. Got to Victorville last night. I don't Very need nice. the whole freaking itinerary. Just, you know, you guys made here. it. You're safe. We got Mark Rivette from the All Guitar Network. What's going on? Larry, hey, young Rob, who's now old Rob over here. He used to work in my store. He's, uh, one time he was a young man, but he's old now. Old now. And, but uh, I remember him. We got to bust this thing off and let's see some guitars. Get it. All right, let's get it going. Come on, there. All right. What's behind latch number one? Salivating. Give us a little Ogre Town Network intro. You see the question? Give you a little what? Ogre Town Network intro. Uh, at the yeah. old Guitar Network, you're going to see a lot of guitars, especially right now. So, this is, there's going to be part one and part two of this nonsense, and uh, we'll show you some of the stuff. Oh boy. There's a dead body in that bag over there. Look at Randy. Yeah, man, his age. All right, uh, let's... I mean all these gems. Here we go. Remember Trevor? Is he in that bag? Yes. Oh, all right. Trevor's in the bag. It's going to his house. Oh, okay. He's moving, you know. Okay. He wants to work for you. All right, go. He's 
good kid. Uh, what do we got over here? We got a carton that was left in the truck. And I don't own it. So the first thing I want to show you is a couple of pairs of, a pair of shoes over there. You know, I don't want to get too close. They're alive. Dolphin. They're alive. Hey, Joel, can you come here for a sec? Yeah, Joel, come here a minute. Yeah, Joel, come on. Over there. Joel, help me at the show. Look at him. Let's see what he learned. Let's see what he learned. Oh, whoa, he's good. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry, sir. Good content. We got totally Todd. Yeah. I'm just overseeing the project. There it is. <laughs> Jittery Lemo over here. Like people, last time he was behind the camera, people were asking if we were having an earthquake. Did they say that? Yeah. Oh, that's why he's saying that. We got Nick over here. Look at these guys. We got the whole crew here. We got the That's Donald over here. That's Petey's brother, Donald. Hey, Donald. So Donald, they let him out of the home. He and Randy, you know, I mean, what a combination. Temporarily unretired. Temporarily unretired. There it is. He's guitarded like the rest of us. <laughs> All right. Me? No. I just lay it down anywhere. Oh, no. Okay. That's what keeps the load. Where do you want us to go, uh, Donald? Yeah. Oh. Norm, where do you Don't want us to put that on the front seat? Oh, we're going to just put them towards the front there, you know, in front of the next area. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. 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 I box, like I said, the, the, the nice one, the, the, the French. Oh, oh, there you go. First guitar. Yeah. Here's another one. Second guitar. All right, we're loading them up. Third guitar. Can you believe that? No, it's all four. Fifth Uh oh, there goes my shot. Hey, come on, somebody. Yeah, come on. I'll take it. Why not? Might as well go this way. <laughs> Cut out the middle, man. <laughs> <laughs> This is why I didn't want to do the camera. That's pretty. Get the cameras up there. Hey, camera guys, look at this. That's pretty. Wow. That's very pretty. That's a rarity oh, by itself. I'll chop my C2 is It's going to Joel. You guys got any saxophones in there? No, we don't believe in that. So I have them all in my storage because I, I collect those too. <laughs> That's because we get the girl. <laughs> <laughs> Got a spot? No. Yeah. <laughs> That's like David's always showing that, that video from the 80s horror flash where the gal plays the snacks. Oh, yeah. The genius is astounding. You know I have no idea, but that's norms. Let's see what's going on on the float. On the float. Hi, little bear. You want one? You want a bite? Uh-oh. You want a on it? What's up, Nick? You hooligan? <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, what's going on, buddy? I know you. How's it going? Pretty good. How was Tejas? We skated all, we skated all the storms. You left them Alright, so we're inside. We're going to go through some of this stuff and kind of give you like a little rundown. And then there's going to be a part two on the All Guitar Network. So if you want to see more of this stuff, you can get it on the All Guitar Network, which is free, by the way. You go to the App Store, sign up for the All Guitar Network, and you can see the part two of this. So um, there's a lot of cool stuff, and we can't do it all in one video because you guys will fall asleep, and that will be the end of that. So we're going to do part two for the All Guitar Network. But let me show you a couple of these things. We get out of way. All right. Woo! So I bought this from my buddies Paul and Chris, and they're really nice guys, except when it comes to price, they kind of brutalized me on this. So I paid a little too much for it. It's an original stop tail, real clean. It's got PAFs. It's a 62. It's the kind. And I paid too much for it. You can too. <laughs> There you go. Beautiful. This is another guitar that I paid too much for. My friend Derek. I mean, I call these guys my friends, but they kind of clobbered me on these. But it's my job to find you guys the cleanest, best stuff on the planet. So for these models, these are really stunningly clean. This is a 68 Telecast wow. thin line. This that is, is clean. the cleanest thing you'd ever want to see. There's a little bit of a thing from a strap over here, but it is stunning. It's a maple cap, no skunk stripe up the back. I mean, this thing is just as clean as you want to get. Really nice, you know, grainy wood on the body. Um, pretty stunning. And there's a okay. lot of like uh, really clean stuff, and then there's a lot of stuff that's sort of player grade, but really good player grade. Um, let me see. This is another really clean guitar. I'll show you this. This is an Epiphone Riviera. It's about 66 or 67, his original hard case. Uh, and Whoa. comes with original hand pads. This thing is fairly stunning. Almost, uh, I hate to say mint, but it's, it's getting close. And, uh, so it's just one of those ones I just like to see guitars that are this clean and this nice. Um, so let's look and see what else we got here. Um, there's some really cool reissue stuff. There's, um, let's see. This is a nice 330. Now this one's a later one. This one is like a 71 or 72, but really clean. Got the volute on the back of the neck. You know, kind of the two tone sunburst, you know, a lot of red in the sunburst. Just a nice, Thanks clean example. Day. Well, it's, I never like to say that because, I mean, these were finished with lacquer, so there is like little lacquer checking and stuff like that, but it's pretty damn cool. So, don't get my butt cracked. I was, I'm all, you know. <laughs> We got some plumbers cracking there. Ah, uh, sorry about that, guys. Woo! It's not a pretty sight, but you know. Alright, so this is a Les Paul reissue, but it's kind of cool because it is a closet classic. And I'm uh, not collector's choice. choice. Collector's choice. Sorry, collector's choice number one. Norm's a little senile, I'm a little <laughs> tired from the show. But it, uh, it's based uh, on the Gary Moore guitar, and it's got the. Uh, cert and all that so you know if you guys are like you know Les Paul reissues this is a really cool R9 and collector's choice number one wow. it's pretty cool right very cool you know my, my yeah. favorite guitar that's a and you know we we'll just go through some others that are kind of cool um, this is a 77 uh, Tele um, Custom, 
again with the taggers. And this is a black one with a rosewood neck. Kind of like the Keith Richards one. I don't remember if his had maple neck or what, you know, but this is really That's nice cool. clean with the tags. Wow. Just a nice example. Keith played one just like that, yeah. With rosewood neck. Yeah. Was his rosewood too? I he had one of each, but yeah. But again, you know, I think it's my job for you guys to go out there and find like the cleanest, nicest examples of stuff. And then I got some other stuff that's more player grade. Uh, there's one guitar. I can't show you the case. Uh, this is a player grade guitar, but I love this guitar. Uh, but we got to not show this case because this okay. is going to be like the new We're looking at the new t shirts. Ooh. So this is a re, this is a refinish, rework. There's a new bridge, been refretted, but it's a really cool guitar. It's a J55 from around 1940. Got wow. this from a buddy of mine named Mike. That's gorgeous. At the show, and I was kind of after yeah. this guitar. I don't know why. I'm usually I don't go after uh, refinished guitars that uh, intensely, yeah, but I wanted this guitar from my buddy. And it's three beautiful. shows we were negotiating. Finally, I got it. And there's a really kind of a special other story that goes to this, but that's going to be another video because part of that is going to be a gift to somebody. Uh, not the guitar, but the case is a pretty important thing. But anyhow, take a look at that. Nick. What wow, do you think? that's amazing. Uh, these are rare guitars. Right? Oh, they're very rare, and it's an old refinish. J55, so yeah. that would have been what? Around 1940. Wow. So, but play it. I don't know. It's in tune still. That's always a good song. That's loud as well. Wow. Just a really cool guitar. I think that's way cooler than anything new. And yeah, uh, that's beautiful. You know, I just think it's a great guitar. So somebody's gonna really love that. That's gonna be a great stage guitar for somebody. Yeah. Uh, Nice big ones. I've had long time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You open up the jazz dogs. Yeah. Unless somebody's trying to attack you. Yeah, we'll get the data. We'll take your arm off. So these 10 line, you got what? Yeah. So this is an SG. And uh, hey. this is just the 66. It doesn't have the wide neck, but it's very cool. It's a short guard, uh, chrome parts, um, but very nice guitar. No broken neck or any of that kind of nonsense that you see on a lot of old SGs. Just a nice example, cool guitar for somebody. Great stage guitar. Very similar to the one that Petty had. Petty's was a little bit earlier, uh, but very cool. Oh, we got something to make Mr. Lemon Bell drink. Yeah, this guitar is for Shaky Jake over there on the camera. Oh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> Turbulence. <laughs> Boom. Oh, jeez. Well, this is a 59 Jazz Master. It's been refretted, uh, but it's a very cool guitar. It shows somewhere, but it's a gold anodized guard, rosa neck slab, uh, three tone burst, one of the earliest of the Jazz Masters. Deadly cool, and what do you think? Uh, well, I wish I could turn this into selfie mode because I am drooling. All right, well, <laughs> just put a bib on. And try to hold the camera straight. All right, all right. Up and down. Jesus, Larry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I gotta say, props to Jen. Because this is not easy. Yeah. So this is more of like this store stock, but it's kind of cool. It's a little more on the unusual side for a, you know, newer guitar. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, stock. yeah. Uh, Strat reissue and seafoam green with the painted headstock. Just a really nice example. Flamey neck, all that. Just a good store stock guitar. Custom shop. Looks real good. Somebody's going to dig it on stage. And uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, Save a few for part two. Yeah. I like yeah. getting out of there, right? Oh, we got left. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Now, this is just uh, J50. It's a 60s. 
think it's just 67. But it's nice and clean. Oh, this is J45, I'm sorry. So it's uh, really clean, about a 67 J45 with a wood bridge, but pretty sound. Somebody who likes clean guitars, gonna love that. Beautiful. And I'm gonna show you one more, and then I'm gonna tell you if you want part two of this, you gotta go to the All Guitar Network. You guys should really be signing up for it. It's for free, there's so much cool stuff on there, and it, we're adding all the time. We're looking for new, great content. So if you got some good content, you wanna check out the All Guitar Network. We'll help you promote your stuff, and uh, I, you know, we'll review it, and we're looking again. The content's gotta be good, interesting, hard-hitting, but I think you're gonna love the All Guitar Network. There's a lot of great stuff already up there. And I'm gonna show you another one that is more player. So what this is, is this is a conversion. This is a uh, Rickenbacker 330 turned into a light show. And um, what's kind of cool with the light show is you needed like this whole big contraption to kind of make the thing work. This, you just do that. And so as you're playing. Oh, <laughs> hey. Oh It'd be my god. Gig guitar for somebody just to get, you know, just to attract some attention. It's very cool. Lemo, you might want to use this on your next gig, you know. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Especially that it's black too. Yeah. Oh my All right. So, great. Part 2 All Guitar Network. Check it out. We're going to fill you in on some other really cool stuff. Great work. Here we go. Cool.